Welcome to Art Starts Explores, our province of play. Are you ready to get creative with us this week? Let's review our three basic rules that guide us through our exploration and play. Rule one is respect. We want to respect ourselves, anyone we're making with, our tools and making space, and the lands and waterways where we're making. How can you practice respect when you explore, play, and make? Rule two is no expectations. If we're not expecting something to turn out good or bad, we're open to it going in a whole bunch of different ways. And that means that all respectful, creative explorations are great, regardless of what it ends up looking like. Try to do things you've never tried before and ask yourself, what will happen if I... Rule number three is nothing is for keeps. Everything we make together is a test, or a draft, or creative playtime. We're just trying things out. What can you make or try today and then take apart or recycle? What can we learn by making and not keeping? These are our three rules for when we explore together every week. Okay, what will we explore together this week? Everyone, and welcome to Art Starts Explores. My name is Kay Slater, and I'm the gallery coordinator and preparator at Art Starts and Schools. This month, we're going to be exploring erasers. And I've brought out basically every kind of eraser I could find in my studio. Over the next three workshops, we're going to think differently about erasers. Generally, when we think about erasers, it's about getting rid of a mark, or it's about making a mistake and then erasing it. But erasers are so much more than just a tool to get rid of things or to remove a mistake. This week, what I thought we could do is we could explore erasers as a mark making tool. What if instead of removing marks, we used erasers to create and make interesting marks? Let's see what happens. For this week's exploration, do you have any paper? Like all explorers, any kind of paper you can find is great. I re recommend that you check out your recycling bin. Doesn't really matter if there's something on it already, I mean, we have erasers, so you could erase any marks that you don't like on the paper you find, but also nothing that we're making or trying today is for keeps. And so finding things in the recycling bin that are ripped or have marks or are crumpled up are just great for today's exploration. Do you have any erasers? Any kind of eraser you can find. The more erasers you have, the more opportunity you have to try different marks. If you only have one eraser, maybe at the end of your pencil, or you have just one old eraser that you only use for schoolwork or that was sitting in the back of a drawer, that's fine too. I'm going to use a whole bunch of different kinds of erasers today. I'm really lucky I've had um, friends actually give me erasers over the years. This is why I have such a, a big collection. Do you have any mark making tools? Normally in Explorers, I usually use markers. But this time 
I'm going to want to use um, mark making tools that can be erased. So I've pulled out some of my pencils, some pencil crayons, I brought out some charcoal to use, and then I also have my bin of uh, Conte and um, graphite sticks. If you have any of these from maybe a drawing kit, you can totally pull these out and try with them as well. And if you don't, don't worry. You can just check out what happens when I use these tools and then compare them to the tools that you have and see how the marks are different. Okay, let's get started. So to begin with, I thought what we could do is we could find out what kind of marks our erasers make on the page on their own. You may assume when you pick up your eraser that it's not gonna make any mark. And for this eraser, it doesn't. Except it does leave behind something. Do you notice the eraser shavings that my eraser has left behind? What do you usually do when your eraser leaves behind these shavings? You probably blow them or wipe them off the page or collect them responsibly and take them to the garbage so somebody doesn't have to sweep them up. But what if we left them on the page? What if we use them for later? I'm going to leave the eraser shavings that this eraser made on my page for now, and I'm going to pick up some of my other erasers. Let's see what kind of marks all of these erasers make on the page. If you have still more erasers to try, keep going. See how many marks you can make on your page with the erasers that you've collected. When you're done, look at your page. What do you notice? When I used my new white art eraser here, my plastic eraser, it didn't really leave any marks, but it did, did leave behind eraser shavings. When I used any of my colored um, erasers, so like my green eraser, you can see uh, it left behind some um, green shavings, but also when I didn't actually brush the shavings aside, it left behind a line of green shavings. Oh, not that time. There we go. And so I got some green shavings in a line from this eraser. My yellow eraser left me some yellow shavings. And my blue eraser, in fact, I had two different blue erasers that I used. I used this end of this eraser, and I used this end of this eraser. This eraser left behind some blue shavings and didn't really mark up the page. But this eraser I've had for a really long time and didn't, didn't erase or leave any shavings. It actually marked the page in this blue smear line. It actually left behind these marks. Same with this one, this old pink eraser that I had. It left behind some pink shavings, but it also marked my page with these pink lines. So if you have some older erasers that maybe you've put to the side or you think that you want to throw out because they're not doing their job at erasing your pencil lines and of getting rid of um, any mistakes, you could keep them in your crayon box as a mark making tool. So I said I wanted to collect 
all of my shavings after I check this out. Rather than keeping them on the page right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush them over onto this piece of paper so that I can keep them. But I wanna see what kind of marks were left behind on the page without the shavings. Okay, what do you notice? If you did it on your page, what do you notice? I noticed that the shavings that I pushed to the side look different than what they did when, uh, when I left them where I had rubbed them on the page. The smaller ones kind of look like um, sparkles, like little dots of noise. The bigger colored pieces, I can still tell which erases they used. But the smaller ones that cleanly erase marks just became this, this, uh, these little um, staccato dots, these little small dots. And so that's that on its own is really cool. And I'm going to save these because I don't want to get rid of these just yet. But on my page that I left behind, now I can really see those marks that my old, uh, where was it, my, my old blue uh, eraser end made and to a lesser extent, some of the marks that the pink one made. So what, here, I'm gonna flip it over now because I've got this, these cool marks. What if I decided to actually draw using my eraser? What happens? color in this face with my pink end of my eraser and then draw back in the face again with the eraser. There we go. And I can do what I did last time where I could actually just brush it off the page and see what kind of marks it leaves behind. But while I'm exploring, I don't have to brush it off. I could leave these marks here. Maybe I find the marks really interesting. Maybe I can intentionally add more of these marks and not just the lines. What's different about drawing with your eraser versus drawing with a pencil or a marker? definitely a different way of making a line and depending on how wide or thin or what shape your eraser is in is probably going to change how you can add marks to your page. Check it out. If you have permission um, to, uh, to actually uh, break your eraser. So remember I told you this one was really old. It was probably going to end up in the garbage anyways. What happens when you snap it in two? What happens when you use the inside of the eraser and not the outside of the eraser? Oh, check it out. So this time, because I'm using the flat end, I'm able to get some of the blue that is still on the edge of this eraser and some of the pink. And it makes this line over here that is like this thick pink line and then this thin blue line over here. I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't tried breaking it in half. So all of a sudden this tool that doesn't do what we expected it to do, which was erase our lines, which maybe meant that it was going to end up in the garbage, becomes this really cool mark making tool that we wouldn't, we wouldn't have used if we hadn't explored it as something other than what it was intended for. Very cool. All right, well, I'm gonna leave my, my picture here over to the side here. I'll move all my 
lots and lots of erasers here in a pile. I'm going to move this over to the side. And grab another piece of paper. What about all the eraser shavings that we had? What can we do with these? Grab my, grab a marker, even though I said I wasn't going to use a marker this time, just because it's a little bit higher contrast, a little bit easier to see on that video. If I wanted to, if this wasn't for, if, uh, if this was for keeps, I could totally have gotten out some glue and put it here and then use my eraser shavings to uh, keep the shavings in place. And now I've got some hair. If I had, what else? Oh, maybe I have a fizzy drink. There we go. Now I'm going to bring the shavings over here. And now I have a fizzy drink. I'm going to bring some of this fizz down into the cup as well. Get the bubbles to bubble up in a fizzy drink. How else could you use your razor shavings? I'm going to add just a little bit more hair here. Uh, I'm going to do it in yellow. Yep, yeah, my yellow eraser. some of them there. Oh, I think I used this yellow eraser. Yeah. Okay. Generate more over here. What about when you create your, uh, your eraser shavings? Are there certain ways that you can rub your eraser and get different kinds of eraser shapes? You erase in a circle, or you erase in big, long lines. Oh yeah, big, long lines on this eraser for me made exactly the kind of hair that I wanted. That's awesome. I'll do that a couple more times. Yeah, that's great. But I wouldn't be able to guess that that's how this eraser was going to leave eraser shavings until I tried. That's what exploring is so, so great. This is why we want to do these kind of explorations because we get to ask what happens if, or what happens when I try using this tool. Okay, there we go. All right, so I have my drawing that I made with an eraser. I have my drawing that I made with my eraser shavings. What about if I use my eraser on a page that has a bunch of marks already? So I'm gonna take another piece of paper and then this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a whole bunch of marks onto the page. I could scribble Remember how I said if you can find um, paper in the recycling bin that already has marks all over it? This is cool because uh, my cutting board that I'm, I'm coloring on has a lot of uh, cuts and marks already, so the page gets really textured and interesting. Put as much down on the page as I can. And you could take a pencil just go back and forth with this. 
the idea is that I want to put as much stuff on the page as I can. And if you are doing this with somebody else, uh, a sibling or a grown up, or a friend or a classmate, um, you could each color in your own page or one page and then you could trade it. You could cha um, one person colors in the one page and then I give this to you. You give me the page that you colored and then uh, we can see what happens. I'm just gonna put a bit more on the page. There we go. And how you put marks on the page is probably gonna change what happens too. So if I use pencil this time and I use charcoal another time, if I drew up and down, if I drew side to side, what happens? Okay, so let's do what we did before where we were practicing and seeing what happens. And now we wanna draw our marks on the page that has the, um, the marks on it already. Okay, try making some different marks on your page. What do you notice? So when I used this one, this eraser that had kind of a point to it and is already, it already looks like a pencil. So I kind of used it like a pencil. I held it like a pencil and I drew a line like this. I was able to really make the kind of curve that I wanted easily with this, uh, with this eraser. Basically the line or the mark that I wanted to make, I just needed to color it. I just needed to draw it with this, with this kind of uh, eraser. But then what I did was, I think I took this one, took this round eraser that has this kind of thin edge to it right here, which would be the same as if I used a square eraser, a square plastic eraser like this. If you're making with a grown up, you want to make sure that you're doing it with a grown up or somebody who um, can safely use a utility knife. Um, you could cut the edge of an eraser so that you have a nice straight line. But again, remember, if you have permission, if it's, if, uh, if it's your eraser, especially if you have an older eraser, I'm going to use one that I had already ripped in half here. What happens? Ooh, ah, there. If you were to rip one of your erasers in half, what kind of mark would it make? What happens when you use the thick flat end? Versus when you use the, the thin side edge. Right, like a thinner line versus a thicker line. I kind of see a forest starting to happen here in my drawing. So I've got all these long up and down lines. Kind of looks like a dark forest. So I didn't even have to, I didn't have to color the background around my drawing. I could draw my background first and then add in the details from the trees. Well, I'm getting excited about the drawing. I've stopped looking at all my cool marks already. Okay. Going back to my, my lines here, um, I used this dried out pink eraser that left behind um, pink lines before, and it smeared into my, my drawing here and left an actual pink line. I ended up erasing some of it. And then when I used my yellow eraser that made the really cool uh, yellow shavings before, do you see it picked up a whole bunch of the um, the charcoal, and now it made like this black uh, shaving, which is so neat. I'm gonna pull this out right here. I'm gonna bring it back into my other drawing over here. And there you go. Now my first drawing. This person has uh, dyed part of their hair. 
so they've got dark sides and then yellow on the top. If I keep going, I could pull some of my other shavings. There we go. Now this person has a mustache. <laughs> Ooh, going everywhere. They've got a really messy mustache. Looks like they need a shave. There we go. I'm going to pull this piece off. There we go. There we go. There we go. There. And now they've got a mustache. So I was able to make different kinds of eraser shavings um, on, on this page because I put down marks before I even got started. And then as I continued to remove things, I was able to start adding um, marks using my erasers as my mark making tool. As I'm going along, oh, I really like it over here, but I'm, I don't actually like what I did over here because I was just testing that. So I'm gonna bring my charcoal back in. Cover that up. Bring my pencil back in. Cover that up too. And then I'm gonna take my eraser again. Add some more trees. So that's what I had over here. I think I want some, some more skinny ones. Go. Kind of branches on the side. I think I liked this one. Yeah. Oh, maybe this one. I like the the thin flat edge of this one. Okay. Yeah. And I'm making so many of these great eraser shavings, which I can collect and use in another drawing. There are lots of ways that you can use your erasers in ways besides just erasing marks, you can actually make marks with your erasers. This week we explored mark making. Next week we'll explore our erasers in a different way. Like I do every week, I'm gonna leave my camera running for a bit as I clean up. I made quite a bit of a mess this week, so I wanna make sure I really take care and I clean up my shavings so that they're not left on the floor anywhere. I don't wanna blow them or I don't wanna sweep them off the side. I wanna be really uh, careful and sweep them up into my hands. And I want to get to my uh, my workspace all clean and ready to go so I can make again along with you next week. Bye for now.